Welcome back in. I, as promised, later in the program, we're going to chat with award-winning designer Tia Lynn. She's a nationally award-winning designer. I can't wait to hear from her. Right now, though, we're going to zone in on our Best of Wisconsin Homes series. And, of course, when we talk Best of Wisconsin Homes, it's always nice to check in with Tommy Van Ness from Tommy Van Ness Realty. Thanks for being on the program today. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me in the new year. You bet. And boy, there's a lot to talk about. We're going to talk a little bit about what to expect this year from the real estate market. First, though, I'd love to kick it off. You have a new listing. You're getting new listings, of course, all the time. And you guys are so busy. It's been a wonderful uh, year for you in 2020. I anticipate 2021 will be the same. And I can't wait to learn about what you have for us. A, a new one in Blackhawk, I understand. Yeah, as you know, we're going to be getting a lot more listings coming up here um, as the spring market starts kicking in. And we do have a new uh, house coming up actually just today. It's not even on the market yet. It'll be up in a few hours, but it's a uh, fairly large house. It's six bedrooms, six bathrooms, uh, very spacious, great family home. Uh, every bedroom has its own bath bathroom. Um, it has a double staircase, which is always great with kids because they can get to the kitchen a lot faster coming down the back stairs than always going up the um, ornate front entrance way. Um, it has a nice uh, walkout lower level with a pool room, um, theater room. It has outside, they have a trampoline area, um, great yard for Blackhawk, extra large uh, lot and um, all stone and brick front. So it's a gorgeous house. It'll be listed for uh, 1.15 million. And um, it's just in a great neighborhood of gorgeous homes. Um, Parade of Homes was in that area for many, many years. So um, if you wanna get in Blackhawk, it's like one of the only ones on the market, especially in that, uh, that size range. Yeah, absolutely. And it sounds like a great family home, fun for the kids, but of course, fun for the grown-ups too. A good home to be in. Gorgeous, of course, as well. I want to talk a little bit more to you, Tommy, about what we can expect in 2021. Uh, you mentioned to me on the break that you actually have a wait list of people who are wanting to buy. So that gives us an indication a little bit about what the market is like. So a seller's market. What do you recommend to people who are starting to plan for spring? Let's talk about it, right. you know when they should be thinking about listing and, and if it's a good time. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, in front of me, I'm at my office right now. In front of me, I have a board and I literally have about 15 people on that board right now that are all buyers, uh, ranging from 250,000 all the way up to 750, 800,000. So I have a wider range of buyers. I'm not the only realtor out there, obviously, with buyers. Um, we're all looking for homes for sale. I would suggest, and I would be willing to come out and give a free market analysis to anybody who wants to find out what their home may sell for in this uh, 2021 market. Yeah. Um, whole yeah, go ahead. Well, Jessa. I was just going to say it's it's a good time to start thinking about doing that now, wouldn't you say? I mean, even if you're thinking about listing in the spring or, or wondering if you should list, uh, being a little bit ahead of it might be to your advantage, wouldn't you say? Yes. Uh, now it's a great point. Now is a great time. Um, Laura and I received, I think, three or four accepted offers already this week. Um, from buyers. So if people think that they have to wait till April or May or June, that's too late. Uh, coming up here in February, we're going to be at the top of our market. Um, I'll send you a, uh, I'll send you a graph, Jessa, and you can put it on TV so everybody can see it. And the graph will show when buyers are out there in really February, March, and um, the beginning of April is when the most buyers in Wisconsin are looking for homes. Most people think it happens in June or July, and that's actually too late. That's interesting that you say that because I'm in that same camp where I'm thinking February, March. Wow, that sounds really early, but I guess that's the time. So now is the time to go ahead and get that free market analysis. And then you can make the determination if it is a good time to list. Because there's low inventory, price is a little bit higher now, I would imagine, right? Prices are higher now, and I had a client that called me back from a year ago. Um, he, had, he was in a condo for 13 months, and he was just uh, kind of getting the itch to move out to the country. 
and his his condo sold for forty-seven thousand dollars more in thirteen months. So sellers and homeowners may be surprised at what their house is worth right now. So if you can, I would suggest you give me a call, and you might be surprised at the value of your house because it definitely is a seller's market right now. Yeah, really good point. So if you're curious, reach out to Tommy Van Ness Realty. You get a free market analysis, and then you can make the determination if now and this year is the right time for you. Also head to the website and check out the listings. Of course, the beautiful home on Blackhawk that just came up, but there's others that you can see there as well. Tommy Van Ness, thanks so much for joining us. So nice to see you. Thanks, Jessa.